The year was 2003. Boston versus Oakland in the fifth game of the American League Division Series. Red Sox Johnny Damon and Damian Jackson chased down a fly ball and at full speed smashed their heads together. The entire sports world gasped. One horrific collision produced two very different results. Damian Jackson left the field under his own power. Johnny Damon left in an ambulance with a substantial concussion. So the question is, what caused Johnny Damon to get knocked out? And what allowed Damian Jackson to walk away? A concussion occurs when the brain, like the egg yolk, slams into the skull. This is bad enough, but an impact with rotation can increase the trauma exponentially. A hit on the side of the head twists the skull, and the brain can't keep up with the rotation. The membranes holding it in place start to tear. And as it rips loose from its moorings, the brain slams against the skull, rebounds, and slams back to the other side of the skull. This impact causes a bruising of the brain, also known as a concussion. Sensing trouble, the brain sends a signal to the rest of the body to shut down. This defense mechanism causes a blackout. Damian Jackson had very little rotation as he followed directly through, and he's able to walk off the field. A disastrous collision. 